And uh, I will start with it, be particularly because in view of what Justice Masaneke spoke about. Hundreds of our people every day are suffering so much that they really do not have dignity. And the problem as far as the legal practice, uh, profession is concerned, even lawyers in the States, young people, admitted lawyers in the street these days. And it's very, very concerning. We get lawyers, young lawyers coming to our office here who are asking if they could even just get an opportunity to work so that they feel they are lawyers because for two years they tried their best, they cannot find <coughs> a job. So it's not going well, particularly for the legal profession. That's why what I'm going to speak about first is the Susana Major Foundation. How it started over the last three years, we had a very haphazard way of uh, contributing to social projects and assisting people. Sometimes it's my own money, sometimes it's the law firm. But we assist communities all over Namibia over the last, particularly over the last five years. But in particular, what happened um, in the last three years, um, it became worse with people coming to the office and, like they do, go to other offices. Some people come here crying that they simply want. A hundred dollar, just a hundred dollar. My PA also can tell you we get <laughs> emails every day. People asking me the fifty dollar. So we used to give money to Sister Namanjo Law Firm, myself, and so forth. Then we decided to be having, we will be establishing a, a foundation, of which time is the chairperson. And this started particularly because uh, in the legal practitioner, we found that there is no system. If I get in a car accident and I didn't prepare myself to have proper insurance covers, there are so many of us, once we get sick, once we get challenges, health-tearing challenges, we find ourselves going to our villages to stay there because there is simply no system. Um, um, I'm particularly happy with my colleagues, directors of Sisana Major Company. At one point, I was crying. I went to them with a very difficult decision to make in 2019. A colleague of us, senior legal practitioner, got in a situation where he was really not feeling well to the extent that he can no more practice at all. And you see, if you have worked at the law firm, everybody's saying, yeah, I'm writing my fees. And I went with a very difficult decision to not to let our colleague suffer. Asked whether we can carry his salary at least for a year. We started in 2019 in August and uh, of course, because Corona came, we carried our colleague up to last year, August, for 24 months. And it wasn't difficult or, or, or easy. In law firms, you see some people are whispering, why should we be paying somebody when we are under pressure, fighting fees? Because of that, we realized that we should formalize the way we assist society. This is it was particularly because of that we realized that uh, uh, in addition to what we generate and set aside to assist people, we must uh, establish a foundation so that we can also be supported by other people that um, can assist. It is for that reason that in the last year, we, some of you may have seen in the media that we have been assisting. This year, when we started speaking to Justice Mosaneke, because of the 
changes we have brought in people's lives in South Africa and Africa, and the grace you have, skills you have, in, and your inspiration to all of us. We decided to honor you in a special way, which is to make a small and modest positive change to few people at this occasion. And this is a most selected project. And we will further honor you for the next five years. Next five years, our foundation, I will announce, will try and assist two young lawyers, and I will set out the steps. So, in the honor of Justice Moseneke this year, just now, we, and these are not, they are small contribution, but after making these donations and assistance, they are, of course, short-lived smiles <coughs> and people's faces. The first one is that we gave recently, as part of the Moseneke program, 10,000 to Wright Hill Pre-Primary School, 10,000. That is 9,000. We gave to UNAM School of Law for their, they had a conference, um, an African network of constitutional lawyers during August 2022. We gave an amount of 10,000. Then there is this story of a four-year-old child, Swakopmund. Somebody threw something into the house and she had her body de deformed, badly damaged. We gave 10,000. We gave a student at the local college crying for registration fee just now, recently, 7,000. <laughs> and just now, 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 including last week, and this, this is a Mosaneco project, student at uh, UNAM, as a law student, who was struggling, in fact, in fact, uh, <coughs> is a first year, we could not register last year. He was admitted, but he could not register. So he came to us again, almost was not registered as a student. In total this year, same project, we gave 30,485. And this is part when we started speaking to Justice Mosaneke and uh, recognition excited to come in and want to make positive change to people's lives in a small way we could. And, and today, this is what we are going to do in your honor, Justice Masanek. And we will, for today, we invited partners to partner us to make changes in people's lives. There are a few people that are around here Harvey, my client, one of them, uh, gave us 25,000. Mm. One of my client, Shapka, and his wife, gave us 50,000. Ashani Sete gave us uh, uh, 10,000. And um, um, Nambiri. Nambiri is a product of our law firm. Gave us uh, 1,500. And um, there are some other donations, but uh, some people did not want to, their names to be uh, to be stated. Uh, but I will, if I remember, I will. Um, so, but what we are going to do is this. You would remember that in the last two years, I 
actually three lawyers outside window to set up law firms. And uh, today we are announcing, maybe uh, one of them is here. If you are, you just got admitted now, you are ambitious, you have some money from an uncle, you, but you need to, you still need some few bags to buy computers. We will give you 25,000. So what you will do, you apply to the foundation, you motivate, and the only condition is that you must be a young person who is prepared to set up a law firm in communities other than window, outside, Koreas, or poor. There, we will give you 25. It's a grant, you are not going to pay it. And two people, immediately, available. <laughs> And this is what we are going to do for the next five years. Every year, we are going to assist two people, young lawyers, outside the window. Um, today, we are giving out 15,000 to assist a media student at UNAM. You know, some of you may have seen recently in the newspaper to assist him with his wheelchair. We are giving, contributing 15,000 today. There is a school in Monte Cristo, it's called Monte Cristo Primary School. Just go there tomorrow. Just go there, check. You will cry. Just go there. We will assist them with a 10,000, to assist in a smaller way. Okay. And JTC, JTC students, if there is one of you who is unable to pay your exam now, there is a 5,000 available. You apply, Taimi will assess. Taimi, Ilse, and Esther will assess and give up. So and we, are, we are going to continue Justice Mosaneke this year. We are going to make, out, um, to, to make more donations. And for the next five years, in your honor, we are going to assist two, students, two lawyers every year. So, the book, um, everybody has already spoken about it. Um, I will not say anything about it. Um, safe to say that it is important sometimes to let people know what lawyers stand for. Um, many times, even lawyers that have contributed to the group of this continent, like Justice Mosenek, could find themselves being subject of insults simply for doing their work. Lawyers do everything that is necessary for us to maintain the rule of law. So we owe nobody an explanation as to what we stand for. For what we stand for is constitutionally recognized. Hence, people have choice to legal representations, whether they are the most darkest persons among us or the most naughty one. Everybody is entitled to be assisted by a lawyer. So I think to young lawyers, I don't think one need to be apologetic about what you do. So uh, that's what I decided to write that book. And uh, the other part of the book, um, Kura has spoken about it. And uh, yeah, buy it, you will know what it's about. <laughs> and um, so I think let's network, let's.
spend the night here. And uh, thanks to everybody.